Samsung looks ready to take on shoulder surfers directly, with leaks pointing to a new privacy display feature coming to the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Instead of depending on third-party screen protectors or bulky add-ons, Samsung appears to be building privacy protection straight into the phone's hardware and software. A recent leak from One UI 8.5, shared by Anna Chultra on X, offers the first clear preview of how this feature will function. It's essentially a full system of settings designed to keep private content out of sight from anyone nearby. Based on leaked screenshots, users will be able to control the strength of the effect and decide when it activates. Samsung is preparing automatic triggers that can recognize crowded environments, like buses, trains or cafes, and then reduce the screen's side view visibility. The settings also include a custom conditions menu, which allows you to create your own rules. For example, you can set privacy to turn on automatically when opening banking apps or when entering a PIN on the lock screen. Leaks further suggest that the privacy display will let users decide which parts of the screen remain fully visible while dimming or blurring others. Notifications, pit windows, lock screen fields, and sensitive photos can all be hidden, with an additional maximum privacy mode that makes the display even harder to read from angles. The system relies on Flex Magic Pixel technology, likely enhanced by AI, to adjust pixels in real time and prevent unwanted viewing. And now Ice Universe shared a post on X, confirming that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will include the S Pen with a fresh, stylish functionality. The notable update is that just like the S24 Ultra, it will support all Bluetooth features, along with a few new capabilities that have not yet been revealed. There have been a string of leaks that suggest it's not something to worry about. The S Pen Chamber can be made out very clearly in one of those leaks, providing a level of surety of fans that at least next year's flagship phone will retain the S Pen. In another post, I shared Samsung plans to urgently restart the Galaxy S26 Plus project. Due to the S25 edges below expected sales and the bleak future of the iPhone Air, Samsung has decided to revive the S26 Plus model. It's ridiculous. Samsung is now a pure speculator, with no independent vision following Apple's lead. As a result, it had been led into a trap by Apple and forced to urgently revise their plans. It's ridiculous. Two days ago, Android Headlines released renders of the S26 Ultra. Using these renders as a reference, we applied professional tools to generate images of the device. While not completely precise, they offer a close visual approximation. Let's take a look. Reports suggest the Galaxy S26 Pro will retain its familiar setup with a 50 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 10 megapixel 3x super camera, though there are whispers of a new main sensor being tested. The big shakeup may come with the Galaxy S26 Edge, which could replace the Plus model. It might skip a dedicated zoom camera, but will reportedly see a major upgrade to its ultra wide lens, jumping from 12 megapixel on the S25 Edge to 50 megapixel. At the top, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to carry forward the same ISOCELL HP2 200 megapixel primary sensor, along with a 50 megapixel ultra wide and 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. The secondary 10 megapixel 3x zoom lens might stay the same, though an upgrade hasn't been ruled out. Overall, Samsung appears to be betting more on AI-powered image processing and software optimizations, rather than making huge leaps in camera hardware, a move that may not sit well with fans hoping for bigger changes. Here we have the first look of the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra thanks to renders published by the folks over at Android Headlines. The design will be instantly recognizable. Like the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the S26 Ultra maintains a flat frame with rounded corners. The device is expected to measure 7.9 millimeters in thickness, with the camera island extending about 4.5 millimeters from the body. This means the phone will likely wobble slightly when placed on a flat surface, something common in Samsung flagships, though only a centrally placed camera island can fully avoid it. The S Pen is also shown in the renders, located at the very edge of the bottom left corner. This adjustment appears to be a result of the slimmer build compared to the S25 Ultra, which was 8.2 millimeters thick. As a consequence, the S Pen's back end, often referred to as the clicker, has been redesigned. It's no longer flat as an earlier leak indicated. Those expecting a bold redesign may be left underwhelmed. The Galaxy S26 Ultra may not introduce major exterior changes, it could stand out in actual use. Reports suggest it will feature Samsung's most advanced OLED display yet. Already seen on a rival device, this panel is rumored to provide much higher brightness levels and richer colors. Samsung is also reportedly testing a new privacy mode that narrows viewing angles helping keep on-screen content private from those nearby. A new deal with South Korea's MCNEX will bring a fresh-folded zoom module replacing Sunny Opticals, which previously supplied the S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra, but faced quality and supply chain problems. Both models were widely criticized for underwhelming 5x zoom performance compared to Chinese rivals and industry insiders suggest Sunny Opticals' issues with a root cause. By shifting supply to MCNEX, 
Samsung aims to finally resolve these problems and deliver a sharper telephoto experience. The company is also developing a new all lenses on Prism, ALOP technology that functions like a periscope camera, but takes less internal space, though it's uncertain whether this will debut with the S26 Ultra. Overall, the shift in suppliers signals Samsung's effort to restore consumer confidence in its Ultra flagship's zoom capabilities, while strengthening its supply chain stability. Samsung is bringing notable zoom upgrades to the Galaxy S26 Ultra. MCNEX, which previously supplied the stable and high-quality 3X telephoto camera for the S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra, is now handling the 5X zoom module, raising expectations for improved performance. At the same time, Samsung is upgrading the 3X telephoto camera from 10 megapixels to 12 megapixels and shifting suppliers to PowerLogix and Patron to diversify its supply chain. The 200 megapixel main camera and 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor are expected to carry over from the previous generation, but Samsung may enhance light intake for the primary sensor to deliver brighter, sharper images. A new industry report reveals the full camera specifications along with the confirmed suppliers for Samsung's upcoming flagship. Previous leaks and rumors about the camera setup now appear to align with what the S26 Ultra will feature. However, the sensors themselves remain largely unchanged from those in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Then CNX has been brought in to manufacture a key component for the Ultra model, the folded zoom camera. This the periscope-style module delivers high-quality long-range zoom, a crucial feature in Samsung's premium lineup. Samsung had previously relied on Sunny Optical from China, but quality concerns over the past two years have pushed the company to diversify. Samsung aims to ensure a steadier and more reliable supply, especially since demand for the Ultra series continues to be high. For the Galaxy S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra, the Periscope camera was supplied by Samsung Electromechanics and Sunny Optical. With the S26 Ultra, the suppliers will now include Samsung Electromechanics, Sunny Optical, with a reduced share, and MC Next. As MC Next focuses on the Periscope module, it will no longer handle the 3X zoom camera. That role shifts to PowerLogix and Patron, introducing new suppliers for the Ultra's telephoto unit. Galaxy S26 Ultra Camera Configuration Main 200 Megapixel Samsung Electromechanics and Samsung Ultra Wide 50 Megapixel Sunny Optical and Patron Telephoto 10 Megapixel PowerLogix and Patron Periscope 50 Megapixel Samsung Electromechanics Sunny Optical and MC Next Front 12 Megapixel Namuga and MC Next Qualcomm has officially introduced the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, and now attention turns to Samsung, which faces pressure to clarify its plans for the Exynos 2600. Reports indicate the company is considering bringing Exynos to the Ultra model of the S26 series. In the United States, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is unlikely to be priced $1,300. Many consumers have embraced previous Ultras largely because they ship with Snapdragon, but moving to Exynos could affect overall sales performance. The Galaxy S26 Ultra equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 may achieve CPU speeds of up to 4.74 GHz, while the standard version tops out at 4.6 GHz. In comparison, the upcoming Exynos 2600 is expected to peak at 3.8 GHz. Although the gap in CPU speed is significant, early benchmarks suggest the Exynos 2600 still competes strongly with both the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 and MediaTek's Dimensity 9500. The difference lies in the manufacturing process. While Qualcomm and MediaTek rely on TSMC's 3 nanometer technology, Samsung is utilizing its advanced 2 nanometer process, which could give Exynos a real advantage. Qualcomm continues to dominate the mobile chipset market and MediaTek is steadily climbing despite strong competition. Samsung's Exynos, backed by the company's global reach, is positioned as a credible rival. However, with TSMC reportedly raising prices for its 3 nanometer foundry services, Snapdragon chips could become more costly for vendors. For Samsung, adopting Exynos in Pro and Edge models could provide two key benefits. Reduced cost pressure, greater leverage in negotiations with Qualcomm. The Galaxy S Ultra remains Samsung's best-selling flagship. The S25 Ultra alone sold more units than all Snapdragon-based Android flagships combined. With sales at stake, Samsung must carefully evaluate whether expanding Exynos to the Ultra lineup is worth the risk. This year, Exynos is performing better, but customer acceptance may not come easily. For several generations, Samsung has reserved Exynos for non-Ultra devices, where performance differences were less scrutinized. At the recent Snapdragon Summit, Samsung chose not to reveal its processor plans for upcoming models. This silence likely reflects ongoing internal discussions about introducing 
introducing its in-house chip into the S26 series. A balanced strategy would be to continue with Exynos in non-Ultra models while maintaining Snapdragon for the Ultra. This approach would protect consumer confidence and prevent Apple from capitalizing on any potential missteps in the premium market. Now we get a clearer look at the redesigned S Pen for the S26 Ultra, shared by Ice Universe on X. The top is shifted to a more rounded, curved shape. It's a small change, but it reflects Samsung's ongoing struggle between aesthetics and practicality. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.